Good morning children. Today we are going to learn another uh, process uh, uh, that means uh, about uh, transpiration. That means uh, the mechanism by which the water travels through the plant. Which mechanism? That one transpiration. We are going to learn transpiration. So now how the transpiration helps uh, to move the water from roots to top of the plant. So in this class uh, we are going to learn children. So uh, before going to that you know we have seen the push of water uh, below the uh, below uh, due to root pressure. And after that uh, if you observe uh, the columns of water in the xylem vessels and uh, due to due to uh, uh, root pressure the on the columns of the water in the xylem vessels. So here, uh, if you observe children, uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, stem. This is the stem. You know, uh, this is the uh, branch. You know, children. Uh, so here, the leaves are there, children. This is the leaves, children. So like that, uh, if you think, uh, you know, these are the xylem vessels, children. These are the xylem vessels. These are the xylem vessels. These are the xylem vessels and these are entering into the leaf also children from roots from roots so from roots these uh, uh, xylem vessels are passing to every part of the plant children so here if you observe the due to the root pressure on the columns of the on the columns of the water that means uh, the water is there in the xylem columns. So on the columns of the water in, in xylem vessels, uh, then this uh, 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 water flows uh, to the top of the plants. Once again, I will repeat children, due to the root pressure on the columns of the water in the xylem vessels, uh, move uh, to every part of the plant. Here you see children, the xylem vessels are uh, passing to every part of the plant, you know. As a result, uh, in the xylem vessels, uh, the water is also passing to every part of the plant children. So, in the ninth standard, you have learned children. In ninth standard, you have learned. Uh, so, here, uh, the transpiration, uh, what is meant by transpiration? In ninth standard, you have learned children. So, the water, the evaporation of water from the plants through the stomata is called a, is called a transpiration. Once again, children, the evaporation of water from the plants through the stomata into the atmosphere is called a transpiration. So, through the transpiration, uh, the water comes out into the atmosphere. If you observe here, children. Uh, not only that, uh, if you take eucalyptus plant, you know, uh, it is up to 180, uh, 180 uh, nearly, nearly 180 meters uh, length is there. And you know, if you see the oak plants, uh, many of them are there, so much height is there. So here, uh, in these plants, uh, uh, how the transpiration helps uh, uh, to, uh, uh, for the transportation of water in the plants. If you observe children, so here uh, not only in oak plants and eucalyptus plants, uh, in some of them plants also uh, the transpiration helps. Uh, so here if you observe the pulling of continuation of uh, uh, columns uh, on water, you know, always the water is flowing, the water columns, that means uh, the columns uh, on water, you know columns, uh, water columns means here water, so here in the xylem vessels when the water is flowing, this, this is called, we can call it as a water columns. You know, uh, if you observe from the roots, uh, these water columns form in the xylem uh, vessels and pass, so uh, pass to the top of the plant. You know, here if you observe children, uh, by the pushing of, by the pushing of water, water columns in the xylem vessels, the water is moving. So, of course, 
here between the water molecules also when the water is moving in that xylem vessels between the water molecules also the attraction forces are, are there this is another factor helps to move the water in the plants to the top of the parts of the plant children and here if you observe there is a pulling effect there is a pulling effect continuous column of water in the blood vessels children so here here if you see uh, this is the leaf uh, you know uh, in the leaf cells are there you know uh, particularly if you observe in the leaf uh, we have learned uh, in the first chapter the internal structure of the leaf in the under internal structure of the leaf uh, mesophyll cells are there so in the below the mesophyll cells you know if you observe air spaces are there from that uh, below that air spaces stomata is there that means opening it out into the atmosphere children so here if you see the continuous pulling of water water columns in the xylem vessels as a result the water moves to the leaves particularly enter into the mesophyll cells of the leaf mesophyll cells of the leaf children uh, then uh, then here uh, from, uh, here in the mesophyll cells uh, the water the water pushed into the mesophyll cells after that into the air spaces after that uh, through the stomata the air comes out so at the tips of the uh, cells you know uh, in the from the cell sap cell sap means cytoplasm children so here in the cell from the at the tip of the cells in the cells the, in the from the cytoplasm the water comes out uh, into the air spaces uh, through the air spaces uh, uh, through the stomata they come out the water comes out so this is uh, when the water comes out uh, from the mesophyll cells and in the mesophyll cell sap uh, the lack of water is there so the water which is before that uh, in the xylem vessels it moves uh, uh, it moves uh, uh, here uh, where the water uh, come out uh, uh, in the form of water vapor then here when the water pulled up here then here gap is there then here uh, below that uh, below below that portion in the xylem vessels the water also moves up so like that like that the water moves up and uh, uh, this is a happening uh, this is happening uh, particularly in the plants you know when the water comes out through that transpiration in the form of water vapor in the form of droplets and here the space is there in the mesophyll cells below that below that water is there this water pulled up here then here the gap is there again so he to here, here uh, again below uh, below uh, below here so below here uh, the gap is there again the water comes up here so like that the water pulled up the water pulled up so like that the water is coming out in the form of water vapor in the form of water vapor and here gap is there so like that the water pulled up the water pulled up so so here if you observe when the water pulled up uh, the uh, gaps are there in the xylem vessels uh, again to that gaps the water pulled up so like that uh, through the transpiration the water flows uh, to the top of the plant children so when the leaves uh, when the leaves uh, losing the water uh, by the process of transpiration again the gaps are there so the empty spaces are there to the empty spaces the water pulled up uh, before uh, that part so uh, like that uh, the water is uh, pulling up this is uh, you know uh, this is passed into the uh, particularly the water passing uh, in the blood uh, in the xylem vessels uh, is if you see this is a continuous process children this is a continuous process and after that the water is evaporating from uh, leaves uh, by the process of transpiration so here uh, if you observe children you, uh, some of the examples uh, he gave here in your uh, textbook if you take oak oak plant oak plant if you take oak plant you know uh, 900 or uh, 900 liters of water per day evaporates you know in oak plant oak plant 
it woke plant 900 liters 900 liters per day uh, uh, it comes out uh, by the uh, process of transpiration children so uh, like that uh, if you take a maize plant you know maize plant the fully grown maize plant if you see uh, it uh, respires uh, transpires sorry it uh, transpires uh, that means it is leaving the water in the form of water vapor so the fully grown maize plant uh, transpires uh, 15 liters maize 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 you know 15 liters uh, per week this one 15 liters per week per week children sorry per week per week so uh, like that if you take another example also he told children uh, one ac one acre of maize one acre of uh, maize plants you know uh, 13 uh, uh, here uh, 13 lakhs 25,000 liters uh, uh, water uh, in 100 day in 100 days uh, they transpire children if you take one acre of uh, uh, maize plants uh, uh, if you in one acre how many maize plants are there totally these all the maize plants uh, 13 lakh 25 thousand liters of uh, water uh, in 100 days uh, uh, they are leaving out children by the transpiration uh, the water comes out children so after that you know uh, a big mango tree transpire 752 752 3500 liters per day it transpires okay children so here uh, three examples uh, he told children first one is that in oak plant 900 liters of water comes out uh, uh, by the transpiration that means uh, oak plant transpires transpires 900 liters per day and if you take uh, the fully grown maize plant uh, it transpires uh, 15 liters per week this one and if you take a mango plant it transpires 750 liters to 3500 liters per day it transpires children uh, after that if you take one acre of uh, uh, fully grown maize plants all these maize plants you know uh, 30 lakh 25 thousand liters uh, of water in 100 days uh, they uh, transpire children so like that uh, uh, whenever the water transpires uh, comes out of uh, uh, comes out from the into the atmosphere from the plant you know here the gap is there again the water pulled up uh, uh, so how here the water is pulling up uh, by the transpiration so when the water comes out then only so here uh, by the transpiration the water is pulling out that means the water is coming up so by this activity you know uh, by this uh, uh, information we can understand that uh, you know the plants in the plants transpiration is also uh, helpful for the transportation of water in the plants so that only children the mechanism by which the water travels through the plant which mechanism here that is uh, transpiration so here how the transpiration uh, helps uh, to transport the water or uh, uh, in the plants uh, we have learned now children so uh, in the examination point of view also in many ways he is asking children so for that uh, he gave one activity also but he did not explain in our textbook uh, to how, how can you say that uh, transpiration is there in the plants for that uh, one activity is given uh, one picture is given uh, but he did not explain that children so now i will explain that one so here if you take uh, if you take uh, one uh, potted plant you took one uh, potted plant children you took one uh, potted plant and you know this is the branch so for this branch, uh, many of them leaves are their children. Many of them leaves are their children. Many of them leaves are their children. Now you take one pollen cover and uh, you select a branch uh, from the plant. 
and you cover this branch you cover this branch with polythene sheet and tie it children and tie it uh, that one after that you keep there in sunlight for 2 to 3 hours for 2 to 3 hours after that you can find some air bubbles uh, inside the inside the polythene cover inside the polythene cover so how that air bubbles uh, form how that air bubbles uh, present in the uh, polythene cover so if you observe the leaves they conducted the process that means they took they transpire that means here the transpiration is there uh, through the transpiration what happened through the transpiration from the leaves through the stomata the water comes out and uh, there is no place to come out into the atmosphere uh, so for that reason in the polythene cover they formed like a bubbles water bubbles so if you uh, remove that if you touch that uh, it is uh, wet inside the polythene cover it is wet so for that reason we can prove that uh, through the transpiration the water is uh, coming out this picture given in your textbook but he did not explain children actually this is the explanation okay children uh, after that uh, after that uh, in the examination on the transpiration also many of them questions he is asking children particularly uh, for one more question sir uh, how much water uh, uh, coming out uh, uh, through the oak plants uh, in one day that means uh, how much liters of water will be uh, evaporated from the oak plants in one day or through the transpiration how much water is coming out from the oak plants so like that in many ways he is asking children uh, so here you have to keep in your mind how the continuous pulling of water is there here by the transpiration the water is coming out from the leaves so in the leaves uh, particularly in the uh, leaves in xylem vessels the gaps are there the spaces are there so the water pulled up to that uh, uh, spaces uh, from below that uh, xylem vessels so like that the water is continuous uh, pulling is there by the transpiration so for that reason the water is uh, reaching to the top of the plants children uh, now <coughs> uh, you get your uh, diary children first question you explain you explain an activity an activity on transpiration on transpiration so uh, this is one question children so here uh, what is uh, the diagram is given uh, only the diagram is given in our textbook children so uh, that is one activity actually so i have explained that explanation you have to write for this uh, question children and the uh, next question how is the transpiration in different uh, plants how is the transpiration how is the transpiration how is the transpiration how is the transpiration transpiration in different uh, plants in different plants so uh, this is one question children how is the transpiration in different uh, plants that means in oak plant you have to write uh, in maize plant you have to write uh, in mango plant you have to write children and the third one textbook reading textbook reading textbook reading page number 86 and 87 textbook reading pages pages 86 and 87 so uh, you have to read uh, this uh, diary children so don't keep pending your diary every day you read your diary and uh, it will be cleared then you can understand uh, easily the coming lessons children and not only that uh, in from the beginning 
uh, I am I am saying that uh, while you are reading textbook, uh, suppose if you read a paragraph, on that you make uh, some of them questions, uh, some of them questions, uh, you know, and try to get the uh, answers. So like that, uh, if you frame yourself the questions uh, and uh, if you get the answers, uh, uh, definitely you will get the answers. So in the public examination, uh, you can write uh, easily and you can get uh, good marks children. So every day you complete your diary children. Not only that, while you are listening this uh, online classes or videos, you know, uh, you note down the important points uh, in a running notebook uh, while I am teaching children. So if you write, uh, you will get uh, uh, some of the meanings to the difficult words uh, and uh, while you are reading textbook, you can understand easily. Okay, uh, in next class, uh, we are going to learn about the transport of uh, mineral salts and the transport of uh, man manufactured food. So about these uh, uh, topics uh, in coming class, uh, we are going to learn children. Okay, thank you children.